Hello, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of day for the Tuesday, 28th of June 2016. Please be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the Google app and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of European markets, certainly finished uh, very impressively. The FTSE up 2.6%, the German DAX up 1.9%, Euro CAC up 2.6%. So certainly an overwhelming uh, rally and a bounce and a short squeeze uh, rally at that from my perspective. The Nikkei certainly uh, held, uh, overnight, uh, flat overnight, the Hang Seng negative overnight. Uh, with a, a certain cement maker, I think it was down 33%. So again, certainly uh, bold uh, bearish. Uh, in terms of uh, the Shanghai, certainly a last-minute rally on the Shanghai comp up by 0.5%. So no real uh, clue there in terms of uh, bullish price action, nor was there any real um, uh, trigger from the US markets because they certainly finished weak. What helped the markets today was mainly due to uh, central banks, basically. Uh, talk of Italy potentially pumping in 40 billion, and uh, talk of, well not talk, actual uh, uh, the UK market or the BOE pumping in, injecting 3.1 billion if I can recollect correctly into the banks. So again, certainly help there, although economic data today, uh, certainly on the weaker side in terms of uh, uh, stronger German inflation data, so certainly kept the euro afloat. Uh, consumer confidence in France certainly came flat. Retail sales in Spain came in a week. Consumer confidence in Italy came in a week. Mr. Draghi, his latest quote at present is certainly bearish. He's talking about Draghi sees slower growth for the euro area over the next three years. Could cut, 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 cut growth um, by 0.5%. So certainly uh, a bearish forecast there, especially given the fact that they are attempting to uh, fight deflation. Uh, infl inflation numbers this morning certainly came in stronger. Okay. In terms of the, uh, the UK, uh, Brexit concerns obviously dominate with regards to this Article 50 being implemented. Certainly some uh, hesitation with regards to implementing that. So therefore, uh, rem the uncertainty remains. Okay, certainly has been comments to and fro. In terms of the uh, UK data, CBI distributed trade survey came weaker than expected. Uh, GDP data from um, gross domestic product price index sorry, came in slightly weaker. Uh, personal consumption exp expenditure prices came in slightly weaker. Personal consumption expenditures quarter on quarter certainly came in uh, a weaker as well. So Red Book itself came in weaker. Uh, S&P, K, Shiller, home prices came in weaker. Consumer confidence, although that came in stronger. And Richmond Fed came in weaker. So overall net net negative in terms of the U.S. data, although it has led to a potential rally in uh, in the uh, uh, potential uh, strength in the dollar index. So just bear that in mind. Okay, in terms of the latest comments with regards to the ECB, Mr. Draghi stating that uh, Eurozone growth would certainly be cut by 0.5%. So again, certainly a bearish forecast. Okay, La Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn has lost a vote of no confidence. So again, uh, political uncertainty in the UK. Okay, uh, so uh, certainly no leader now for Europe for Labour Party, uh, nor is there one for the uh, Conservative Party. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, rhetoric as well, Miss uh, Merkel did state that. Uh, they wanted to uh, they get the UK to uh, certainly uh, enact or trigger the uh, Article 50, so thereby uh, triggering the uh, the actual uh, exit of the Eurozone to uh, reduce the uncertainty. Uh, clearing houses apparently being moved to Europe as well. So again, everything really bearish in terms of the credit rating downgrade overnight. Uh, Mr Osborne referring to potentially cutting uh, the... Um, spending and increasing taxes so everything certainly is indicating bearish for the FTSE 100 my current trade on the FTSE is currently bearish given the fact that the daily chart although um, it did pop above that red candle it's still it's still an inside bar okay as held fib 61 percent held at 200 ma as well okay uh, this key diagonal trend line as well certainly has held so certainly an inside bar on the FTSE and therefore indicating weakness. The bulls certainly lost out there towards the close. 60-minute chart certainly holding FIB 75%, holding that 200 MA. Therefore looking for weaker price action on the chart of the FTSE. Okay, going over to the 10-minute chart, the FTSE 100 into gap fill uh, resistance certainly closed the gap and therefore looking for retracement. The unfilled gap below at 5918 remains open and again that will be potentially targeted. Okay, certainly will be a target zone for the uh, for the actual uh, FTSE 100, okay. In terms of the rest of the European indices, let's just bring that up. S&P Europe 350 certainly into previous support equals resistance, so we're into this key support zone, uh, key previous support equals resistance, and looking for a move lower. 
into that fib 50 to 61 percent resistance zone okay and looking for a flush lower okay so again looking for weakness here on the s p euro 350 in terms of the german dax let us bring that up for you we did uh, move higher although we did uh, manage to hold that gap level resistance and then obviously eventually move lower again okay again you have the unfilled gap below so that gap will certainly remain in play especially with mr draghi talking about a potential cut in uh, growth uh, forecasts as well it uh, certainly doesn't bode well and therefore it indicates a potential move lower okay in terms of the actual french cac let's just bring that up for you as well certainly a push higher weakness towards the close again the unfilled gap remains below uncertainty in europe etc certainly does favor the downside still 60 minute chart at the moment like i said still into that fib 61 resistance looking for the gap below especially with mr draghi commenting on potential growth concerns and a 0.5 percent cut you still have the unfilled gap at 3900 that needs to close in the french cac okay in terms of euro stocks let's just bring up the euro stocks for you bring up the six stock 600 as well again into that zone here okay previous support equals resistance okay uh, you also have a gap as well so watch out for this gap here so you're into gap fill resistance on the stock 600 again horizontal resistance as well and therefore indicating previous support equals resistance so therefore indicating resistance on the uh, stock 600 on the 60 minute chart again fibonacci retracement into that fib 61 percent daily chart uh, again it's an inside bar uh, we have closed the gap although we have pushed lower again nothing stopping for this market certainly making a potential number move low okay so again watch out below in terms of the uh, euro stocks let's just quickly bring that up for you euro stocks here we go euro stocks 10 minute again you have a hns formation looking to potentially flush lower looking for that gap to close that's 2700 60 minute chart of the euro stocks uh, again there is a possibility for an inverted head and shoulders formation so certainly be wary of that uh, those that are getting too bearish just need to be very careful uh, but for now certainly looking for this right shoulder to potentially be carved out before we attempt to uh, move higher so again all eyes on that right shoulder of the ahs an inside bar nevertheless on the euro stock so again so indicate exercise caution from my perspective okay certainly indicating weakness okay so overall from my perspective at this current juncture given the weak economic data out of the U uk or us should i say and uk and higher inflation data certainly is indicating a potential move lower here okay uh, and again given the fact that mr corbyn has lost the no call confidence vote and uh, given the fact that we've had weaker economic data out of the uk today we've got credit rating downgrade in the uk osborne talking about raising taxes and cutting spending etc this is all bearish for growth and certainly doesn't hold well for the uk consumer which in turn will send the, the actual indices and index down so i remain bearish on the FTSE, looking for weaker price action going down to 6120 on the FTSE. let's bring up the chart the FTSE again looking for that fib 60 fib 75 percent resistance to hold on the FTSE, and looking for weakness so this is your 10 minute chart you have gap fill um, uh, gap fill obviously resistance and the fib 65 uh, 75 percent this move higher uh, monster move from 5980 up to uh, 6170 i mean it's almost 200 points in the FTSE today so again looking for a, a market to uh, certainly retrace in the opposite direction and move low okay i think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that potential 25 percent bonus goodbye now